delay compensation ensures that latency created by inserts and buses is accounted for, making sure all your tracks play back at the right time. The delay compensation indicator shows up in your edit window. If it's green, you're good to go. If it's red, you're in trouble. That means that there's at least one track that's causing a delay. Let's find out what's wrong. Navigate to View, Mix Window View, Delay Compensation to see what's happening. There are three numbers. The first is the delay created by plugins on your track, represented in samples. Hot stuff. The second is a field where you can enter your own positive or negative offset. The third is the compensation on the track, represented in samples. <laughs> if you're in the green, you're good to go. Yeah, baby. Numbers in orange represent tracks that require the most compensation. Numbers in red exceed the compensation able to be managed by Pro Tools. You can turn delay compensation on and off from the options menu. I recommend using the highest setting possible as long as your CPU can handle it. The more plugins you have, the more you're going to need it. I need it! I always mix with delay compensation on. You should too. Now that you know how to use delay compensation, you can focus on a better compensation, like getting paid. Show me the money!